on today's episode we are finding the best spam musubi on oahu a lot of spam today guys i feel like it's a year's worth of spam we ingested today it says best musubi in hawaii your favorite spam musubi we coming we trying it out What's going on foodie ohana and welcome back to the channel. Continuing our series today, we are finding the best Spam Musubi in Hawaii. Before we get into the video, we want to talk about what is a Spam Musubi. If you've been watching our channel for a while, we've talked about Spam a lot. For those of you who don't know, Spam is a canned meat that during World War II was largely introduced to the American diet due to food shortages, rationings, and restrictions. It became synonymous as a cheap comfort meat that was easily accessible and made its way around the world to places like Guam, Japan, Philippines, and South Korea. Although there are many stories behind the origin of Spam Musubi, many have said that a Japanese-American woman from Hawaii was the original creator. And through the years, Spam Musubis became a staple local comfort food here in Hawaii. And these are our three criterias that make up a good Spam Musubi. One, Spam to rice ratio. Is there too little Spam, too much rice? Second, rice quality. Is the rice hard? Is it old? And the third, spam preparation. We like our spam cooked on the griddle top as the original and as it should be. Is it mushy? Is it soft? Is it saucy? Is it too salty? Our first stop on today's conquest of the best musubis is one of my childhood favorites. I consider the gold standard. This is what I grew up on here at Kamamalu Market. I grew up here on Lusitana Street where Kamamalu Market is located right up the street from here. And this is where I would stop by every morning for a spam musubi. Like I mentioned earlier, I grew up eating the spam musubi. So this to me is the ideal spam musubi. I haven't had it for many years now, so I'm hoping it's still the same. It should be very simple, just a palm size of rice. Spam nicely cooked over the stove top. I can see some of the burnt marks here. And of course, wrapped in nori, holding it all together. So a lot of times here in Hawaii, you can find Spam Musubis at your local convenience store. So it's kind of like your neighborhood bodega, if you will. Spam Musubi is like our equivalent to the chopped cheese in a bodega. Oh, look at the char, guys. My childhood favorite, Spam Musubi. Mmm. Mmm just as good as I remembered. Right away, when I took a bite out of the musubi, there was a snap. The nori was fresh, the rice a little mushy than I remembered, but it's probably from being steamed in the hot showcase. But the spam, nice and salty, none of that low sodium stuff, nicely charred, little crispiness to the spam as well. Oh, this is it right here. Two of these and a bag of chips was my lunch for the whole day. Oh, love this, love this. The way Felix was talking about this spam musubi, he made it sound so good. And I'm pretty hungry, you guys. Growing up, I didn't really have a favorite spam musubi spot because my mom would just make it all the time for field trips or on the go for school lunch. Lunch. Spam Musubi was the way to go. Cheers. Mm. They definitely be using the full sodium Spam here for sure. The way that they prepared this very simply is how my mom would prepare it growing up. So this has a very nostalgic feeling for me. I do think the Spam could have been a little bit thicker though. But I mean, I don't know. It's still so satisfying to me because it's so salty. So the rice, the Spam to rice ratio, uh, I guess the Spam could be a little thicker. Maybe you just chose the thin one. And of course, we had to start this video off with a childhood favorite of mine. The next spot is also a childhood favorite of mine. Stay tuned. We are at our next spot in downtown Honolulu. This spot is touted as having the best Spam Musubi on Oahu. And this is also a place where Felix used to frequent very often. As a kid, because my pediatrician was right upstairs, I would always beg my mom to get me a Spam Musubi. This place is called Kukui Plaza. Oh yeah, see it does say it on the door. Got the goods, baby. Got the goods. So guys, we are here at Kukui Plaza. I think this is kind of like a medical building here in Honolulu downtown. And we went to Kukui Convenience and on the wall, it even says best musubi in Hawaii. We shall see. First off, I want to say, I think this is a terry spam. You can tell because it looks like there's some sauce on there. The rice does seem a little bit mushy because of the sauce. Holy cow, you guys, does that not look picturesque or what? Mm. The flavor of the Spam 
is delicious. The rice is a little bit mushy. I do think it's because of the, the sauce on there. The terry spam is very delicious. It's not super duper salty, has a hint of sweetness. I will say the spam could be a little bit bigger and the rice could be a little bit less. And I do know that depending on what kind of family you grew up in, if the nori goes all the way through or just a simple strip. I grew up eating it just with the strip. Does your guys' family put the whole nori on the whole thing or just a strip? Let us know. I will say it is a good spam to be, but I don't know if it's the best. It might be angering some people, but it is very, very good. We'll see at the end of the video what our verdict is, where the best one is. Unlike the Kamamalu market where it's just a simple musubi and that's it, here they have an egg deluxe version. And guys, the beauty of spam musubis sold at these local convenience stores is the accessibility for the neighborhood. Local convenience stores were prevalent way before 7-Eleven, so I appreciate that these are still around and I'm so glad that the neighborhoods are keeping them alive. It's part of our culture, honestly. Simple scrambled egg. Looks like foodie cocky on a bed of rice and spam, nice and charred. Ooh, this one looks very picturesque. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> So unlike the other one where the spam was drenched, probably double dipped in that terry sauce they had, this one looks like it was just marinated in the terry sauce and then just quickly griddled because the sauce isn't pouring into the rice, but I still taste it. It's almost like a terry sauce, sweet and savory in tasting. The egg adds a nice addition of protein in there. Foodie coffee adds little bits of crisp when you bite into the sesame seeds, nice flavoring. I will say the spam could be a little thicker to balance out all the other ingredients in there, but this is a pretty darn good. Oh man, definitely breakfast on the go. Oh, where do I go? Parking. And this next musubi spot is a local Japanese musubi shop known for their varieties of spam musubi and also their own innovative concoction of musubis. And this spot is called Higoto Japanese Eatery here in the Kaimuki Shopping Plaza. We are here at Higoto Japanese Eatery. They are known for their musubis, bentos, and cup sushi, which is very, very interesting. And their spam musubi is actually kind of more like a onigiri but with Spam. So this is a very bougie option if you're looking for a place to get everything like a bento and musubi and sushi cup. You can pretty much get your full meal here. But today we got the OG Spam musubi with white rice. And also just to mention, they have two kinds of rice. They have a white rice and a multi-green rice. And yes guys, we did get a multi-green rice musubi. Spoilers for later. So here it's very Japanese style. So. There's a pull tab here, like in the Japanese onigiri convenience stores. So you pull the tab, oh, and it opens. Here, they don't use saran wrap to wrap it. The spam is even cut kind of like bunny ears. And they also have a little takuan or daikon furikake here as well. It just doesn't seem right to eat it. <laughs> so pretty. Mmm. Mmm. The spam is a plain spam. I don't even think they cooked it on the griddle. The amount of rice to spam ratio is a little bit off, I would say. I wish the spam was a little bit more. But very typical in Japanese fashion, they focus more on the rice. I will say the rice is very well done. Well done. They cook the rice perfectly. It's not mushy or soggy. And of course, onigiri, the rice isn't usually piping hot. And the nori here is really good. And I love the addition of the takuam, pickled daikon. It's the yellow version. It gives a little bit of a sour tartness, vinegariness, which complements the spam, the nori, and the rice. We are no strangers to Higoto, Japanese eatery here in the Kamuki Shopping Plaza. We did do a video on them a while back, so I saw something while Musubi shopping that caught my eye. They had a cheeseburger musubi. Holy cow. Two of my favorite two gold things in one bite. I've never seen this before. Mmm. Come on. There's a savory sauce that's dressing the burger. I was thinking it was gonna be like a American cheeseburger type of musubi and just plopped on rice with nori. No, uh-uh. It's more like a hamburger steak, like a Japanese hambagu steak on top of a nice bed of rice with a slice of American cheese. Holy cow. The rice here is very nice, very Japanese-esque. You can taste the individual grains. It's not a big ball of mush. Their original musubi was good as well, but oh, 
Very nice, very nice. This one was also one of the owner's favorite. She mentioned this is the chicken karage musubi with their multi-grain rice. You can see it's purple in color. And I appreciate that they didn't charge more for the multi-grain rice. It's the same price. So if you do want to try something different. And the karage was still hot. So they do open at 11, guys. We recommend coming early, right when they open. So everything is piping hot, still fresh. Mmm, that chicken karage musubi, guys, is no joke. The multigrain rice, more flavorful. It adds an earthy tone to it. The chicken karage is still lightly crispy, juicy, very moist. I love the marinade that they use for the karage. Similar to teriyaki, but a little more ginger notes. It's sweet and savory. Oh man, this is really good. If I had to choose a specialty musubi, ooh, I don't know, I might have to get one of each. But of course, we're here for the spam, guys. Amanda's hurrying me, so on to the next spot. You guys are enjoying this video spam that like button down below so the next spot you guys is one of our personal favorites one because the rice is so good two because they have tons of variety and three because super convenient they have six locations here on oahu and one is right here in alawana center and here we are guys at iasume musubi cafe Look at that mountain of musubis, guys. We went to Iasume Cafe, like I said, six locations. They use high quality Koshi Hikari Tamaki Gold Rice and they hand make these musubis, every single one of them, every single day. This is a very simple to-go spot. This is their simple Spam Musubi. And right off the bat, you can see the Spam is kind of like folded over and it's not as elongated. I guess they don't use the the rice pusher thing that usually people use to make spam musubis. Cheers. Whoa. The spam is super duper thin. It's a little bit overcooked, I would say. Like the spam is kind of tough, but the rice is definitely high quality. It is salty, but I do like the saltiness with the rice ratio. It looks like a ton of rice because it's all concentrated into a ball, but I think the ratio is good. Just the spam is a little overcooked. I think it might be terry spam. I'm not too sure. The guy rang us up for terry spam, but it doesn't really look like a terry spam. So I'm not too sure. It does have a little hint of sweetness, but it's it's not very strong where I can be like, definitely this is a Terry Spam. When you come to Yasume Musubi Cafe, you have to have to get the crazy options here. Like, look at that. You can actually see a full gyoza in there with a shiso leaf, Spam. This other one here is a unagi with avocado and egg and Spam. Like that is crazy. I am going for one of our favorite things to get here. This is the unagi with egg and avocado spam musubi. It's very saucy and my hands are already sticky. So Felix clarified and it is a teriyaki spam. Although it's not super teriyaki, like if you look at this and how like saturated it is with sauce, like this is obviously like saucy. This one, you can't really tell the sauce. Like there's no remnants of it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. This is also a significantly larger spam. The egg and the avocado gives it a nice creaminess. I love the unagi because it has a little bit of fishiness with the unagi sauce. And the spam just takes over with the saltiness. And it is just a hole in one, you guys. This is like our top musubi to get here. You have to come and get this one. This is the gyoza shiso spam musubi. I saw another two of my favorite things in one. I had to get it. I love gyoza. I love spam. Why not get a gyoza spam musubi, right? Can this fit in my mouth? Holy Oh, it is huge. Look at it's... the girth on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna try to get everything in one bite. I'm experiencing a lot of amazing firsts today. This is oddly very satisfying. It feels like I'm eating a Spam and Rice bento and there's just a gyoza as an addition on the bento and I decided to take a bite all in one. The shiso leaf adds a nice little herbaceousness but man that pot sticker I will say it's not like a super special pot sticker or anything it just tastes like your usual mandu that comes with the plate lunch. I like that the pot sticker is still crispy too. I'd probably get this again if I was in the mood but the takeaway here at Iasume come here for the rice quality come here for the different variety 
Japanese. Come here for the awesome, packed full of flavor, little spam musubis. Furio Ohana, we made a big boo-boo, a very big one. A lot of you are gonna be disappointed upon hearing this, but we were on our way to Gott's Grinds and they are actually closed at 1 p.m. I, I, okay, I, I will take the full blame. I thought they closed at two. We won't be able to get Gott's Grinds to review today. We do have footage from before when we did go there and try their food. For now, it's an honorable mention, Gott's Grinds for sure. For you locals that know Gott's Grinds for their musubis. But we are still on the hunt for the best spam musubi today. We're not giving up. The review will continue. Yes. And for our next stop, of course, none other than 7-Eleven. This is probably the most easily accessible, most convenient option here on Oahu. And of course, there's a bunch of other varieties. We just stuck with the original today. Hmm. Right away, I'll say it's a big ball of mush. It's flavorful. Don't get me wrong, the saltiness of the Spam, there is some sauce on here as well. I never noticed it before. We normally, when we're in a hurry or just in the mood, we get a 7-Eleven Spam Musubi. But after trying all the other Spam Musubis today, that sauce has a fishy taste to it. It's like bonito sauce or something. I only noticed it because today, the other ones didn't have this flavor profile. It's very fishy tasting. Not as strong as fish sauce, but like Japanese bonito flavor, like shrimp stock or something. Yeah, I wouldn't, vote this as the best but it is the most convenient it is nostalgic in a sense well come on for a gas station food spam musubi so whenever i go to 7-eleven for a spam musubi i usually get the deluxe which is spam egg and furikake this is actually my first time getting it without that so on the wrapper it actually says spam with glaze sauce off the bat i will say i think 7-eleven has a good spam to rice ratio but let's see Mm, the rice is mushy. I will say though, something about 7-Eleven Spam Subi is just so nostalgic. It has like that comfort feeling and it is super duper convenient. The most convenient out of all of the places we went to today. Mm. Do you taste that fishiness? Or no? I do. Oh, okay. I do think it's the teriyaki sauce or the glaze that's on here. It does have more of like a fish shoyu taste versus just straight like teriyaki. Slightly sweet. I think the Kukui convenience store one was a little bit more sweeter, but... Oh, the dog is here now. Whose dog is that? I don't know. It's the dog <laughs> that scared me earlier. He wants to to me. <laughs> Let us recap the video so far. We went to five different places. Kamamalu, Kukui, Kukui Convenience yes. Store. Higoto. Higoto, Iyasume, and, and 7-Eleven. And our three criterias for a Spam Musubi is one, good rice to Spam ratio with the nori. Two, the type of rice and the way that it was prepared and cooked. And three, the Spam, the way it was prepared and cooked. So Amanda, of all the Spam Musubis that we've had today, not including the specialty ones, just the original Spam Rice Nori, which one was your favorite? My favorite Spam Musubi of the day is, da 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 da, -da drum roll, Kamamalu. What? Simple, OG, just like my mom made it. It's my favorite. <sighs> Next time, I'm going first because my choice is Kamamalu Market. You said you didn't say it. You I said. was trying to do a reverse psychology and trick you. Why do you always have the same? You keep copying me. Huh? I grew up on that literal street and grew up eating that. Well, if you think about it, my mom and dad also grew up in that area. So that's probably why they make it the same. <sighs> well, why do we like Kamamalu as our number one choice, Amanda? The reason why is one, I feel like it had the best spam to rice ratio. Yes. It did, honestly. Agree. The spam was really good, nice and salty. It was simply prepared. For me, in my opinion, spam musubi shouldn't be super overly complicated, especially if it's just something on the go. If you're making it for your kids, auntie, uncle, grandma, grandpa, it should be simple. Yes, there is a time and a place for the gourmet spam musubi, but overall, I feel like simple is always best. The spam was simply prepared, the rice simply prepared. The rice was cooked to perfection. It wasn't mushy, it wasn't hard, undercooked, nothing. It was perfect. 
perfect. For my reasoning why Kamamalu made it as the best spam musubi we've had today is because not only is it nostalgic for me, which is biased of course, but after trying everything else and pitting it up against each other on the same day, I really got to appreciate, like Amanda said, the simplicity. Also, if I had to look back and think, which one could I eat for breakfast, for lunch, or for a late night snack while playing video games, it would be kamamalu. Just imagine you're trying to eat the teriyaki spam or something for breakfast. Like it's a little too heavy for breakfast, but a regular spam, no sauce, on rice, nori, simple. It just takes the spam for the day. Kamamalu market, congratulations. A close second for me would have to be, hmm. I really liked Higoto's one because it had the takuan in it. It added a nice crunch, acidity. It was like salty and sour with furikake on it. The rice was really good. I think for me, second place would be Kukui Convenience. The only reason why I didn't choose that one is because it was a little too saucy and a little too ricey for me. The Kamamalu one had a little thicker spam, more simply prepared, and the rice was a little less, but Kukui was second for me, to be honest. I will say also, Higoto for me was third, reason being is because the spam I think was raw. Like, not raw, like it's already cooked obviously, but like it wasn't prepared. fried or anything. Yeah. It was literally just cut and stuck in there. The way it was prepared was well, like how they Yeah, made it was it a nice presentation. Into a rice ball. So I will say Higoto won the presentation award. Yes, Iyasume won for the best rice rice and flavors. They had a lot of different types of musubis, onigiris. And I think for late night award, we'll go to 7-Eleven because 7-Eleven's open late and they always got the spam musubis over there. If you're looking for something that's always available, always around any time of the day, go to 7-Eleven. And honestly guys, the markets that are in the neighborhood is definitely gonna have the most authentic taste to it. If you go to like 7-Eleven or if you go to ABC store or somewhere like that, of course it's gonna be a little bit more generic, more standard, but if you want the good local style Spam Musubi, you've gotta go into the neighborhoods. So of course, Kamamalu Market, Kukui Convenience Store takes the Spam today, those two. All right, Furio Hana, that's gonna wrap it up for the best of Spam Musubi episode today. Let us know if you guys are loving this best of Hawaii series. We can do a lot more, part two, other local dishes. Let us know. Thank you guys so much for coming along on today's foodie adventure. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and join our Foodie Ohana by clicking that subscribe button down below. It helps us out a lot. Come join our Foodie Ohana. Let us know if you want to see a part two or any more of these best of series. Let us know what kind of series, where you like your Spam Musubis. Let us know it all. We'll see you guys on the next video. Drop a comment down below. Where is your favorite Spam Musubi? We coming. We trying it out. Right, until the next foodie adventure, explore your inner foodie. Peace out. Bye guys. On today's episode, best of Hawaii, we, what? I'm supposed to say that. Here at the Kamamalu store. Kamamalu market. Here at Kamamalu market. What was the next one? Um. Spam to rice was my qualification. You took it. Well, I, I, <laughs> I was saying that just as a reminder because you asked me what it was, so I didn't. Yeah, what's the second one? What's the second one? What's the second one? Come on, what's the second one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. it. Let's hear it. What is it? <gasps> I forgot how it is to live in around here. <laughs> it was just blasting music. Heater. Uh, what is? What do you call that? Hot, I, hot, hot food. And guys, I do know. Um, and I do know, depending on what kind of family you grew up on. Right off the bat, I noticed this is very hard to open. Okay, no, 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 there's a... There it is. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> it's a little quick tab. Does your guy's family put the whole rice? Unveil and undress the lovely musubi here. It's like pulling down the backing zipper Stop. of a dress. There you go, ooh. Versace on the floor? Yeah. It's Goto <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> no. Same dress different person. Stop. I saw two of my favorite things. So guys, the video was on pause because a random fight broke out in front of 7 This guy is not. We always just normally get Spam 11. What? Spam 11? You have Nori on your lip. What? Where? Where? Can you take it off? No, you're good. Oh, it's stuck. Kukui nut. What? Two. The rice.
Bro, we got spam for the whole month. Yeah. The rice is cooked poop. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's definitely Kamamalu, Kukui Market. Wait, wait. Kamamalu Market, Kukui Inconvenience. Convenience. <laughs> so that is gonna wrap up our. Uh... Ah! Oh. oh, crap. So. so oh, you go or me go? You go. Or he go to? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I want my boba. Oh, my, my, oh. My.